The Fort Lewis College Skyhawk football team hasn't beaten a nationally ranked opponent in who knows how long. But they'd get their shot at the second ranked team in the country, CSU Pueblo, as the Thunderwolves visited Durango. Pick up the action in the second quarter, Skyhawks trailing 10 to seven. Cameron Perdia catches the pass and takes it to the CSU Pueblo one yard line. One play later, quarterback keeper by Jordan Doyle, who would fumble. Fortunately, Austin Shaw is there to cover the ball for a Skyhawk touchdown. Before the half, the Thunderwolves would add two more field goals to hold a 16-14 halftime lead. Following a two hour and 15 minute rain delay, the teams were back at it, with FLC recovering an onside kick and later adding a field goal of their own. Pueblo would answer with a touchdown by J.B. Matthews in the fourth quarter, but their two-point conversion attempt was picked off by Chris Bonner. Those two points would prove to be huge. The Skyhawks were fired up, P.J. Hall doing work bringing the ball down the field. Waning minutes of the fourth quarter, and Coach John L. Smith giving last-minute instructions to his guys. It came down to this. First down run by P.J. Hall up the middle. Second down pass from Jordan Doyle to Jordan Gillen to the three yard line. Third down, Hall stuffed for no gain. Fourth down on all the marbles. Doyle to Gillen for the reverse, no! A pass to Thompson for the go ahead touchdown. <laughs> The FLC defense would hold and you can call the Skyhawks giant killers as they knock off the second ranked team in the nation. This Thursday, October 16th, the Skyhawks get another shot at knocking off another top 25 team when the Colorado School of Mines comes to Durango for FLC's homecoming game, which begins at 6 p.m. The game will be televised on CBS Sports Network, so we'll see you there. Go Skyhawks! You know, this is, uh, and I told them this, you know, I've, uh, you know, been in Notre Dame Stadium and beat them there, and I've uh, been at a lot of places, a lot of bowl games, uh, beating number one UCLA in the Rose Bowl, and this is as big as it's ever been in my career, and I can't be more proud of these guys than, uh, than I am. I mean, they just, they hung in there, and they fought from the bottom of their heart, and, and now we have to build on that, and we have to realize that, you know, we can beat everybody. Anybody, if we'll do our part, one play at a time, and just continue to grind, grind it out at the end. So it was a great team victory.